Hi, welcome to Yovi's Travels. Today, we are going to Belgrade. You guys have been asking me for a long time if I could take you on a trip to Belgrade, so today, that's what we're doing. I'm doing a quick uh, two-day trip with my son. Papa and Luna are staying at home, but if you guys wanna come and see Belgrade, then I don't know what to say. Like, grab your passport, I don't know, come on in. Don't kick off your shoes on a plane, that's rude. And <laughs> let's stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Let's go to Belgrade. Idemo u Belgrade. I love taking the flight from Amsterdam to Belgrade because it's always buzzing with a really positive energy. Whether it's part of the diaspora going back for a visit or travelers excited to see the city for the first time, that is a really fun flight. And this time was no exception. I was so happy and excited to meet a viewer of this channel on my flight. Yelena, thank you so much for saying hello and introducing yourself. I loved meeting you and chatting during our flight. I hope you love your new life in the Netherlands and I wish you a lot of success. Once we landed in Belgrade, I was met by the familiar smell of the airport. Even now, after more than 30 years of not living there, the smell of the airport transports me back to my childhood. My parents met us and drove us to our family home in the Topčitersko Brdo part of Belgrade. This desirable part of the city is home to many embassies, international schools, and famous Serbian actors and musicians. Our home, which was built in 1929 and owned by my family since 1939, is shared by my grandma and her two sisters. I have many happy memories here, playing as a child, meals with extended family, laughter and togetherness. The first thing that we did, as any Serbian family would, is eat. <laughs> My all-time favorite Serbian food is called chivapi, which is like different types of minced meat and spices and herbs and things rolled into little sausage shapes and then grilled over a flame. You wanna be in the vlog? Obviously, I ate this on the first and second day of our visit. <laughs> There is a park near our home where I used to play as a child and I really wanted to take Leo. Shorter to my surprise, the park was the same as it was when I was a child, like literally the same. <laughs> Leo had really, like Leo had a lot of fun exploring the playground equipment and I loved reliving the simple joys of childhood through his eyes. Hey. So it's Saturday morning and I'm starting off the day in a way that I really enjoy, okay? So I am going to the spa and taking advantage of the fact that my mom and my grandmas are taking, and my dad is taking care of my son. They're having fun at home and I snuck away for about an hour. I'm here at the spa called Secret Garden. I've been here before. It's such a cool place. It's actually in a house and, um, well, I'm gonna show you around. You're gonna see behind this like very regular looking, like nothing special house is a really cool spot. So come on in and let's go get a little facial. Okay, bye. So when you walk in, when you walk in the door, you are actually in this gorgeous, sunny garden where you can come and relax. The salon is inside. And, well, I'll show you there in a bit too. But look at this. Look how nice this is. You can come here, have your little tea or a little coffee after your treatment, some water. And it's just such a beautiful, sunny, gorgeous place. All right, so my facial is all done, and now we're heading up to the Belgrade Zoo. 
We're gonna go and see all the animals. This zoo is located kind of in the heart of the city. So who knows all the things we're gonna see. So we're gonna spend a bit of time at the zoo and then we're gonna go and explore some more and show you what we can find. So are you still here? Hey, if you remember, go ahead and click that like button if you like it so far. Give a subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, since I always forget to ask. But uh, yeah, so do that and then, and then let's continue. Look at this. This is the path walking to the zoo. There's my mom, Leo's there. We're just gonna enjoy this gorgeous, sunny autumn day. Let's see what we can find. All right, you guys, so we finished at the zoo. It was really fun. I felt a bit sad for the animals, but I always do in the zoo. Glad that the kids can learn and see like wild animals that they wouldn't see otherwise, but it does feel bad for them. But anyway, now we're here at, where are we? We're at boutique number two restaurant, and we're about to have some lunch, so yum yum in my tum tum. Mama, what are you eating? So after lunch, we walked around the city center. This part of town is called Knez Mihailova Ulitsa or the Knez Mihailova Street. On this day, there was even a festival of sweets being celebrated and many local vendors came out to showcase their spectacular desserts. Of course, we had to try some. Belgrade is buzzing with activity and life. I was very impressed to see so much of the city under renovation or reconstruction. During the war in the 1990s, Belgrade endured almost three months of NATO bombing. Some relics remain, and I find them very hard to see. During the bombing though, the spirit of the Serbian people shone brightly. Even during the worst of the airstrikes, they were out in bars and cafes, in parks and on the streets. If that was going to be the last night of their lives, they were going out in good spirits and in a party mood. And you can still very much feel that uh, when, when you're around Serbian people. After we finished at the zoo and in the city and the center and everything else that we were doing, we decided to drop Leo off at home. And my mom and I went to the mall for just a bit of shopping. I was so impressed to see that there's a car wash business operating in the mall parking garage. So basically, while you shop, your car is cleaned inside and out. Uh, can we please get something like that in the Netherlands? Because I would use it for sure. Hi. Okay, so now we are headed to the cemetery where my first dad is buried. Uh, the dad that you guys know of uh, from my videos before, that's, he's actually my stepdad, but I call him my second dad because that's really what he is. Uh, my first dad died when I was eight years old and he is buried here in the Belgrade Cemetery. I wanted to take you guys uh, with me because this is actually a really beautiful drive. So now we are gonna, now you'll see a little bit of the drive to the cemetery and I'll show you what that looks like. And, um, and yeah, oh, and I was saying hello. <laughs> you want to be in the video? <laughs> All right, we'll we'll blur your face, but that's uh, that's the plan now. And then we're gonna go to lunch, and then we're going on the plane. We're coming back home, so that's the plan for now. And we will see you soon. Okay, bye. After the cemetery, we went for lunch at a typical restaurant called a kafana. So kafana is just the name for like a type of a restaurant, but this restaurant is called grafičar. 
So in Serbia, the main kind of meal is not dinner, it's lunch. And we're a little bit early, but that's only because of our flight. Um, the way that you have lunch, it's usually around two o'clock. And it always, for the most part, starts with some kind of soup. Uh, my favorite soup, it's, I will show it to you in a second, but it is made with, it's like a beef, beef kind of soup. Uh, oh, sorry, veal, I stand corrected, it's veal. I will show you the difference. I'm having the veal kind of stew and my son is having the beef soup. So you can see what that looks like. Um, yes, you. <laughs> and then we're gonna have um, the main dish and then salad and stuff. So you'll see that as it comes, but that's it. And then generally for dinner, people will have something lighter for dinner, but this is the main meal. And now you're gonna get to see how we eat in Serbia. Yum, 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 yum. Get ready. I hope you're not hungry. I hope you've already eaten by the time you're seeing this video because you're about to be real hungry. Hello. Look at this food. These are roasted peppers, and this is uh, some. What are you having? You're having pork back. The beshalitsa. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. My mom is having sausages with potatoes and the salad. Leo got a small. This is a small burger, and it's enormous. It's like the size of my hand. That's a small burger. This is a shopska salad. I'm having. This is neck. This is pork neck and roasted potatoes. And then this is another burger. This is a special cheese from Serbia called Kaimak. It's made from milk fat, it's delicious. And some more salad, so. And you guys, just like that, our trip came to an end. Despite only living in Belgrade for the first five years of my life, I still feel a very strong connection to it. And while it's not home, there is a very comforting familiarity to it and I feel a sense of belonging. I'm so glad that my parents live there now and that I can share this part of my history with my children and with you. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly getaway that isn't too far away from the Netherlands, I really encourage you to consider Belgrade because there is something for everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!